I want everyone here to give me one word that describes the Studio 23 brand. Just one word. Forward. Forward. Passion. Passion. Love. Love. Art. Art. What's going on world? Brand new Open the Box here. I'm your host, George Kill, and I just found one of the dopest sneaker stores in Minnesota. Minnesota of all places. I'm here with my guy, Mo, who is the owner of Studio 23. What's going on, man? How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Now, tell me about Studio 23 because it's very unique in the sense that it's a sneaker store, but also an art gallery. The five pillars of what we were based on when we, when we opened the boutique with fashion, art, culture, music, and then obviously the sneakers. Mm -hmm. But the whole concept for me started as an art gallery space. I'm a big basketball fan. Yeah. And so that one I'm seeing right there is one of my favorite pieces so far. Tell me about that one. Yes, sir. So, you know, this one highlights the late, great Flip Saunders with Kevin Garnett. And then at the time when the painting was done, the three young cats who represented the future of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Bank Robbers of America, that yeah. one was actually everyone's favorite piece. Yeah. But that's the one that's actually the only one that's not for sale because that's the, mm. the artist's favorite piece. We switch the art up every three, four or five months. We want to do as much as possible to promote local artistry in all forms. Now, is this for sale? The clock is not for sale, but that's the question we hear the most <laughs> right, right. on is, you know, can I get these? You got these in a nine, you got them in a 10. Like, no, this is just for your viewing pleasure. And we yeah. switch it up. This is something I've wanted to do since I was a shorty. You know, I've been a Jordan mm -hmm. fan since, you know, my Texas and Arkansas days. So this was the first structure that was put into the boutique back in 2010. We actually did a mix of wood and steel, and that was from my influences, uh, you know, being being able to travel, you know, to 30-some countries around the world, is just seeing different architectures. This steel wall was constructed mathematically, and the holes represent its mathematical equation of the number 23. So there's three different diameter holes in there, you know, they're two by three inches across, and it's all, you know, an ode to my man, man, MJ. Give me the significance of the, the name Studio 23, especially how it's spelled. Yeah, the spelling is quite unique. I knew I wanted to call it Studio 23. Studio, the workplace for a practice of an art, as I said, is very art-centric in everything that we do. But the EO, the I-I-Y-O, is actually a Japanese word. Right. So if you were to say, hey, Mo, can I come and DJ in your spot tonight? I would say in Japanese, I would say EO, dozo. So it's the whole concept that anything is possible. And so it's the workplace for a practice of an art combined with the Japanese ideal that anything is possible. Right. You just grind, put your mind to it, but you still read it, studio. Right. Can you EO those, those Tokyos for to me? To you? Uh, this one, I'm not sure. <laughs> anything can happen, right? Yeah, anything can happen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, as far as the brands in here, what does Studio 23 carry? Well, obviously we're known for being the top Jordan mm -hmm. boutique in Minnesota. We've got Asics and Onitsuka Tiger. I wanted to make sure that I carry the Onitsuka Tiger brand because that is the Japanese arm of Asics. And then next we've got Jordan Men's. And then we have Puma foundation account. So, you know, we'll receive product like, you know, the Rihanna Fenty, mm -hmm. the EXO from The Weeknd. Then next we've got Jordan Grade School. And then we go to Champion, which has been killing lately. And then the back rack is Studio 23 private label. Nice. nice. We also have Raised by Wolves out of Canada. And then in the next room, we've got Undefeated, Stussy, Staple, Herschel Supply, Mitchell and Ned, Primitive with the Dragon Ball Z collab, right. Compilis out of Colorado. We try to pick young brands and brands that can be exclusive right. to Studio 23 for the most part, besides obviously your, your bigger brands, which are going to be found in right. a lot of places. A pop culture moment that I saw in this store that really intrigued me is this Space Jam array of things you have here. We started with a lot of my personal collection of Space Jam items, but then over time, that community aspect we were talking about, a lot of our customers and friends have been added to the collection. So then you see a lot of vintage, just the latest is someone brought us this Space Jam PlayStation 1 game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I didn't even know that existed. So that was <laughs> like, yep, oh, that is going in the case. 
Everything that's always on the clock, whether it's this special arrangement or just, you know, the regular bread and whites, these are all mine as well, starting with the off-white. We just done these Oregon samples are one of my one of my favorite pieces. The embroidery is just too Crazy. tough on there. Yeah. The Dornbecker obviously for the cause. Dornbecker six was my first personal Dornbecker pair. Mm -hmm. The K fifty four friends and fam never touched the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> Starting yeah. to color a little bit from the box, but yeah. yeah. And then the the Mira samples as well. Talking about art is everywhere and arts and everything. I don't think there's a more artistic shoe than the Mira Seven. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have never seen this shoe. Uh, it's just the women's. When Jordan was heavy on the women's game, this is the the Ice Blue Eight. Definitely. Oops. Love of the game nines. This is a Shadow Twenty Three Ten from the uh, Countdown Pack. The Pinnacle Ten, the OVO Twelve. And if we move over here, you've got the original Taxi and Playoff from 97. Yeah. With the Coke to match it. Yep, that's, yeah. that comes from the 92 uh, championship when Coke and the Bulls did a collaboration piece. And then on this wall over here, you've got some more classics. The original Bread 11 from 96. 1985 Bread 1, its counterpart on the left here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got 2001 Royal, mm -hmm. 2000 Space Jam, 2001 Bread One again. Then you have an original 1989 Metallic Five. Right. I'm from Texas, so I'm not gonna let you not talk about that right there. Oh yeah, so. I was waiting for you. <laughs> so this is one of my prized possessions. This was Terrell Owens player exclusive Jordan 3s when he was with the Cowboys. And then next door, we have our expansion space next to the treehouse. There's a lot more museum pieces in here. So continuing here in the treehouse, you have some Timberwolves signed game balls for doing some events with the Timberwolves in the community. My original Jordan uh, motorcycle jackets when I used to ride. And then up here, you've got original unopened Space Jam dolls. You have an original Sweeties box that a friend of mine whose sister is one of the top VP at General Mills, so that yeah. was a gift from them. And then some local artists did some gifts for me mm -hmm. for, you know, having the shop and inspiring them. And then obviously we have our MJ jersey up there yeah. next to the hoop. We opened in 2010. Around 2013 with, you know, the brands hitting us up and us just organically growing, we needed additional space. We just mm -hmm. didn't know where it would come from. So we had architects come in and we were able to go through the wall and open up this space. We cut out the ceiling and exposed 25 foot ceilings in here. First thing I put up was a hoop court. Yeah. And the idea behind that was we all need a place to decompress and relax. So after hours, during hours, we have games in here and shoot arounds and whatnot. It was all for creativity. So we nicknamed it the Treehouse because as a young kid, I always wanted a treehouse. Yeah. It's the place where as a kid, you can go to escape and dream, but also because we built it almost entirely out of wood and all reclaimed wood because we really want to be environmentally conscious in everything that we do too. Everything that we built as far as furniture is either on wheels or movable so that we can redesign the space when we do events in here. And, you know, we tend to bring national artists, whether it's for the most part, it's reggae, but we just finished like a big crit and sci-high the print show. We've nice. had Big Boy come in. We've had Iggy Azalea. We've had The Office London. And then on the local scene, we do open mics. We have DJs up in the loft area spinning. We've had yoga lessons in here. This is a space, again, where anything is possible. So I just moved back into the uptown area. I was born and raised in Minneapolis um, around this area on Lake Street. And this is after I've been running my sneaker blog called Jack and My Fresh back in the days. I'm walking through uptown and you know, I see this shop and I walk in and I'm like, what is this? You know, mm -hmm. after I've been traveling, trying to f you know, find out you know, what's going on with you know, some of the cooler shops that get press and get you know, information over the internet, I walk into you know, Studio 23 for the first time um, and that's where I met Mo. And the whole thing was, was so unique because he kind of had this whole formulated creation uh, about it. And that's kind of how we, you know, you know, got connected to the, to the store and um, that, you know, that's how I've been involved. So it was a pretty neat thing. So I first walked in here in like 2011 with a few friends. I was really like impressed with what I saw and that was just that side. I just appreciated the locally owned unique store for someone to get head to toe you know, something that's not at the mall. Shortly after, you know, I became the manager here and I have been for a number of years now. It's been a great time just seeing the store grow. So DJ Inferno, you are the main guy here when it comes to, to the music part of, of Studio 23. Tell me about the treehouse and, and what goes on in here 
as it relates to you? It's a combination of art, music, and just fashion, like in style. The atmosphere is so all over the place and it feels good for me as a DJ because I get to go all over the place with the music. Right. So, you know, I can throw in some dance hall. I can throw on some reggae tone. I can throw on some EDM, some techno music, and go from all that and pop in some future amigos. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like everybody's mingling and having fun. And that's what the Treehouse and Studio 23 is like built off of. It's an experience. I've seen kids here perform, and now you know they're either performing with Kanye or they've met Prince, or you now they have a radio job. And now with Project Sozu, like you know, it's been a it's been a great growth and a, and a big opportunity for him to try to do as much as he can for the community, for the city, and just putting on for Minneapolis in general. All right, Mo. So where are we right now? Right now we're in a new space called Project Sozo. Sozo in Japanese means creation or imagination. And again, it's, a, it's an extension or a, another arm of who we are. I really wanted to get as authentic as I could, so I hired an old friend of mine, we reconnected. He's actually a Japanese muralist here in town. His name is Yuya. The first thing that you see is the cherry blossoms. People make an annual pilgrimage to Japan just to view the cherry blossom or what they say in Japan is the Hanami season in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you see the dragon coming down. I'm Year of the Dragon, so yeah. that meant a lot to me. <laughs> And then you have Mount Fuji. I spent a lot of time meditating on the foot of Mount Fuji and climbed it as well. Then you pan to the left, you have koi fish jumping out of the, the water. You know, I'm also a Pisces, so that works out yeah, well. I was right. telling the story of who we are. Exactly. And then the very famous tsunami wave by Hokusai. So that's kind of sets the scene for everything in here. This was another space to give the opportunity to young entrepreneurs to, to get them started, mm -hmm. to help them you know, run their own business per se, mm -hmm. without the overhead. Right, so right. we help them bring in their items for sale, mm -hmm. you know, much mm -hmm. like other shops do. Yeah. You know, the difference is we do a lot more than just sneakers. Yeah. In the cases you have all the other hype items that folks want these days, whether it's Supreme or Bape or Palace. And then on the far wall, you've got all the apparel straight from Japan. We get all the Bape items straight from Japan. And then the other hype items that people want, I was just blown away. Uh -huh. I was so surprised that there was a spot finally like this in Minneapolis that, you know, kind of felt like something that I, we've been missing out. Fell in love with the spot, met the owner Mo, happened to be one of the best guys I've ever met personally as a business owner. Mm -hmm. So from that day forward, you know, it was nothing but love hanging out at Studio 23. I've known Mo for decades plus, so I, you know, I was proud to see what he had accomplished by his passion, right? To bring uh, your passion to fruition, it was amazing to look around at the sneakers and the gear and the art and the atmosphere. You never had studio. I would still uh, feel blessed to be a, a friend of a man like that yeah. because of his nature, his selfless nature. And then the people he keeps around him is similar as well. So I think most of the guys here, um, you know, we, we all are, are, we're acquaintances, but we've all grown close friends through the conduit, which is Mo. I gotta say first, you know, our people sometimes, I pay attention to our people, you know, mm -hmm. our people being, you know, black and brown people. But sometimes it always pains me when we, we open stores, open other businesses and things and we close it. And now uh, the first thing I noticed about when I walked into Studio 23 is that it was a shop, not a store. Mm -hmm. What I meant about that is I think a lot of these businesses I see with start, it's a store. They just put one box together and dump a bunch of things in it yeah. and expect people to come back. People true, do it, true, but after true, a while true. the experience is not the same. You know, mm -hmm. I can go do that at Walmart and other places like that. And you know, especially to blend in the art and right. the sneakers, it was not just selling you things. It yeah. was really selling you an experience. So uh, I had met Mo before he opened the shop. Once I knew he was going to open it, I jumped on an opportunity to help him out. So I've been there since the beginning, since 2010, to see the evolution and the growth, you know, from what, it's, what it was to what it is now to what it's expanded to, you know. It brings me nothing but joy, you know what I mean? And, and to see it be done for a person like that, it's just that much better, you know what I mean? Yeah, for and, sure. So for one special viewer, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Studio 23 and put together a really nice care package for one of you watching today. And you'll be able to find that info on Koiski Media. Follow us on Koiski Media, Instagram, and Twitter to find out the details on that special giveaway package.